What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the rarest New Balance sneaker that I own in my personal collection, how I got it, and what the sneaker itself actually is. Let's get right into it. Now, before I want to start this video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to, to my guy, Harrison Cable. Uh, his YouTube channel is Best Foot Forward. He's, a, he's from Australia. We just did a podcast together, a little podcast episode together. So I'm going to link that down below. Check it out. There's a lot of good stuff about New Balance and just the sneaker culture and sneaker news in general. So definitely check it out. I had a lot of fun with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Now, I made a grail list back in like March, February on like the sneakers that I like, I, I want, but I don't think I'll ever get. And so far, one of the, I have gotten one of the sneakers off that list, which is the Jound 990 V4. And one of the sneakers I said in that video was an honorable mention, was the Amine 610 Mini Moose in the yellow colorway. An honorable mention is the Mini Moose 610 in the yellow colorway. Now I have the brown pair, but the yellow pair is super dope. I really, really wish I had it. If I didn't have school, I probably would have went to New York City to get it from Amine, wait in the line. I would have waited like 20 hours outside in the cold of New York City just to get that sneaker. And today, I'm proud to say that I finally managed to cop that pair. And this is the rarest sneaker in my New Balance collection. And I'm super, super excited that I can call this mine. There's, there's not too many better feelings than uh, like wanting a shoe, yearning for a shoe, and just like always looking at the prices and seeing if you can find a good pair. And then once you finally get it, it's like the most satisfying feeling ever to me personally. I just, I love the feeling of having a grail and finally being able to cop it. And I was able to do that with this sneaker. Whenever I'm bored or I have nothing to do, I oftentimes just go on eBay, type in men's new balance size 10 and just scroll and scroll and scroll. And just like, I'm just interested because I like to see the condition of new balances. I like to see how much people are wearing them and how much people are selling them for and what's out there. And most of the time, you do end up finding something that's worth buying. For instance, this sneaker. But another example is I found my John V4s off of there. I also just bought a pair of 990 V4s, the LL Bean collab, which is a sneaker that I've wanted for an extremely long time ever since I found out about it. I love LL Bean, my winter coat's LL Bean, and I needed a nice fall sneaker. And what better fall brand to wear than 990s, New Balance, and LL Bean. So that, I, I just bought that pair off of eBay. Hopefully those will come soon. Uh, get them just in time for fall but like there's just sneakers that you can find on ebay that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else and most of the time new balances are really good to find on ebay that are used because new balances hold their value as well as they also hold their their structure and and they have a lot of life left after people wear them for an extended period of time so i personally buy a lot of used new balances off ebay and i'm always on the, on the lookout for that and i've mentioned that before you guys know that I, I do love ebay for my used new balance sneakers so what this sneaker is right here it's the amine and new balance mini moose 610 s collab now this is a 610 it has a 610 trail it has a 610 logo it just doesn't have the laces now new balance really hasn't touched on the silhouette that often um i think they're going to more now i think there's maybe one pair on new balance's website right now but this is a very interesting silhouette and you honestly wouldn't even be able to tell it's a New Balance unless you really looked at it. Because, I mean, for this shoe right here, it just has the banana logo right here. On the other one, it has an N. But you could not really tell that this is a New Balance sneaker. It just says New Balance on the bottom and New Balance right here. So Amine is a rapper, singer, songwriter. Like, he, he does a lot. Um, he actually has a new collab coming out soon. He just announced with New Balance, which me and uh, Best Foot Forward just talked about on his podcast. So go check out to see my thoughts on that. But I really, I really love Amin Ace collabs. The, the Moose 610 that I have, that's probably my third favorite sneaker of all time. Like that is my, f I love that sneaker. And he released that on his website and on New Balance's website, but there was three pairs, three different pairs of this sneaker right here. You had the yellow pair, the brown pair, and the green pair. And his big thing is he, he deals a lot with bananas. That's his brand, Club Banana. Um, he does a lot with bananas. That's, his, that's just what he likes. That's his, uh, that's his logo. That's his brand. The three pack was a very, 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 very limited release. You had the yellow pair in New York City, 100 pairs made. You had a wait in line inside of a banana store, and you got your pair. There was 100 pairs in Portland, and then there was 300 pairs on the online raffle of this brown one. 
Now the brown one is not expensive at all. That's why I have it, it was super cheap. I was super happy to pick this up and have a super cheap collab, um, which is such a unique silhouette. Obviously I didn't, I don't think the brown's the best one, but I was very happy to have it. Um, I'm still very happy to have it, but I'm ecstatic to finally have the yellow pair. This, is, this, this shoe right here dropped in New York City. There was 100 pairs. This represents the yellow prime banana. The brown one represents a rotten banana, and then the green one represents a not ripe banana. So this is, I think the yellow one's the best, obviously, but I just like that this is like the prime banana. This is what you want in your banana, so. So what makes this shoe so special? There's a lot of things that make it special. Um, the banana branding, the Amine, it's comfortable. It looks stylish. It's a little more thin, like it's a thin sneaker. You know, sometimes New Balances can be a little chunky. I think a lot what's popular in today's world, sneaker-wise, is, is these thin, narrow sneakers such as like the Samba, the Adidas Samba. Everybody's rocking that, so this looks really good with a lot of the clothes I like to wear, like baggier clothes, because then it kind of sits nicely under those clothes. So I really, really like the way this looks on foot. Now, like I said, there's 100 pairs of these made, so obviously this is a very rare sneaker. Because, I mean, think about how many pairs are actually in a size 10. So, I mean, it's a very limited sneaker. So my pair is 84 out of 100, which, I mean, is pretty dope. I like that a lot. But, I mean, the box is signed by Amine, and it says 84 out of 100, making, making it that much more special to me, the fact that that's signed by Amine. I already I bought an Amine signature, which is pretty sick. So I didn't pay that much for these. I mean, when you consider how much you pay for, like, 990s these days, you go buy a pair of Teddy Santis 990s, they're, they're running to 240, 240 for a pair of 990s like that. But these I paid about 300 for. And when you consider the fact that they were going for 600, 700, 800, there's 100 pairs made. I absolutely could not pass up on this sneaker. There's no way I was able to because I've wanted this sneaker for so long. I saw my opportunity, I just bought it. So I'm super happy to finally have this sneaker. I would have loved to go to New York City and wait in line for this sneaker, but I forget what was going on. But I just, I physically could not go to New York City. It would have been like a five hour drive that I just wouldn't do by myself anyways. Um, now, given another opportunity, I'm dropping everything and going to get a shoe like this, hands down. It's, it's just a very interesting shoe. You won't ever see this that often. Um, I don't know if I'll ever see anybody else wearing this. I hope I do. But it's just a very interesting silhouette on top of the, the amazing collab that came with it. Now, the box is pretty dope. You do get all three of the shoes on the box. Here it says Amine and the 84 out of 100. It also comes with a keychain and it comes with like a little card saying a kid from Portland has his own sneaker, which is pretty dope. And it shows you the tiers of the banana. Now, this isn't like the coolest New Balance of all time. I just really think it's interesting. It's super limited. It's, it's 84 out of 100. It's a dope sneaker and I'm just very happy to have it. So let me know what the rarest sneaker in your collection is and what you think of this shoe. If you'd like this silhouette and you would like to see more from New Balance with this silhouette. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. We're starting to get more consistent too, so don't worry. Video's coming soon, soon, soon.